Robert Woodson Height, commonly referred to as Wood Height, was the initial cousin of Frank and Jesse James, joining the infamous James Gang as an outlaw. Height entered the world in 1850 in Logan, Kentucky, born to Major George Burns and Nancy James Gardner Height. His mother was the sibling of Robert Sally James, the father of Frank and Jesse. Despite his youth, Height rode with Bloody Bill Anderson's Raiders during the Civil War. Standing between 5 8 inches and 5 10, he had dark sandy hair, a light complexion, a prominent Roman nose, decaying front teeth, and stooped shoulders that gave him a perpetually slouched appearance. After the disbandment of the James Younger gang following the disastrous Northfield, Minnesota raid in 1876, Jesse James sought new members for his gang. Wood Height, along with his brother Clarence, joined the newly formed James Gang. Wood is believed to have taken part in the Blue Cut Missouri train robbery on October 8, 1879, the Riverton, Iowa bank heist on July 10, 1881, and the Glendale, Missouri train robbery on September 7, 1881. Due to his distinctive appearance, he became easily identifiable, compelling him to go into hiding after being recognized in connection with several robberies. Seeking refuge, he fled back to Kentucky, taking shelter with his father in Logan County. However, his stay was short-lived as he became involved in a fatal altercation with a black man named John Tabor. The killing was witnessed by his stepmother, who reported the incident, leading to the issuance of a warrant. Subsequently, Height was arrested and confined in Adairville, but he managed to escape by bribing a guard with a dollar one hundred bill. He returned to Missouri, taking refuge at the residence of Robert Ford's widowed sister, Martha Bolton, in Ray County, Missouri. Accompanying him were fellow James Gang members, Bob Ford and Dick Little. Both Height and Little harbored affections for Martha Bolton, and on the morning of December 4, 1881, they engaged in a heated argument about it. As tensions escalated, firearms were drawn, resulting in Little shooting Height in the right arm, while Height retaliated by firing a bullet into Dick's leg. Observing the altercation, Robert Ford then pulled out his pistol and fatally shot Height in the head. Later that night, Robert and his brother, Charlie Ford, wrapped Height's body in an old horse blanket and buried him approximately a mile from the house. Yeah, following the incident, Little surrendered for the killing and Ford was taken into custody. This event would eventually result in the death of Jesse James, as Ford struck a deal with Governor Thomas T. Crittenden. The agreement stipulated that Ford would be granted a pardon for Height's murder if he succeeded in capturing or killing James.